Today we're going to run through the level 1 quests. I am just going to, before I start, update my enhancements. You click on your main menu, then click on enhancements. And I've already assigned one point to human skill boost when we were in the harbor earlier. And uh, I'm just going to update my, my bar because I really don't need assassin for this build or mechanic. I'm going to unset Thief Acrobat temporarily. Uh, these other ones here, um, you can't spend points in them. They're not available. We haven't uh, bought them or earned them yet. All of these can be earned, so we are going to earn those eventually, but for now we're just going to take them off because uh, if you try to set a point there, it's just going to tell you that you know you don't own this yet. All right, and then we're going to... The only tree we need for now besides the human tree is the Thief Acrobat tree, which is the... Uh, cross or the uh, quarterstaff tree. So for now, uh, this one doesn't do much for us. We could use our dexterity modifier to hit with quarterstaff, but we're just going to take it because it's a prerequisite. Uh, we could get plus two to damage if once we get two more action points. So we'll go ahead and take it just so that we can take that uh, soon. It's the best thing we have available to us at this level. Now I'm going to hit close and I'm going to start this quest. And as mentioned in the previous video, we could only start on normal, but that's fine. We want to run these quests on normal the first time anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Uh, with the hireling, we need to summon these at the beginning of the quest. If you try to use them later, you can't use them. But if you forget, you could always run back to the beginning of the quest uh, and summon them there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this hireling in. Um, this hireling is very helpful because uh, it'll keep me from uh, it'll keep me healed. Um, you can't overly depend on hirelings. Coming you have from to still deep in the crypt, smart. you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of, and by the passage leading in, strange sarcophagi line the wall. You notice something strange about the wall. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. Whenever you see this, if you spot search hidden, the wall. You may discover more. It means there's a uh, secret door. We'll go ahead and... You found it. some kind of secret door in the wall. Once you open it, you can reach whatever's behind it. There's something odd on the wall. Possibly dangerous. A chest. It's out in the open and unprotected. And that's probably what the dead cultist by the chest thought. So when you see that trap symbol that was up there, it just means there's a trap. Let's go ahead and The trap search. here is set to spray is. acid onto whoever approaches the chest. But you can disable it now that you've found. You've disconnected the trap's firing mechanism. The chest is safe to approach now. Here's a second trap box. This could just be if you come from the other side, but let's go ahead and disable it anyways. And loot it. All right, well, we got some light armor here. Uh, it doesn't really provide much for us, but it's better than the starter armor we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then put this on. Equipped healing amp of one, so it gives us a one percent boost to our when we heal, when we heal by our hireling or heal ourselves. That's pretty small, but all the bonuses are small at this level. But let's go ahead and put it in. It's probably a little better than what we had. Um, I would say that you can skip this optional here. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to do it, but normally I would skip this optional. You are going to have so much experience that. Um, from doing all the quests, that there's no way that you'll be able to use it. All, so don't worry about what were those cultists up to? Experience. A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. That chest just has a there's uh, a saw wagon in, in here, exciting. performing some kind of ritual. Normally, at this time, dead son of Kortos. A magical quick. crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. So be sure to you continue to, to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Yeah. 
Yeah, now this is normal difficulty. It's, uh, the e it's, As you slay an these foul cultists, casual. take care to keep your own health up. Another treasure chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here, but it's yours now. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Crag Wolf Hayton, in life you served the light. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. I'm just gonna turn this volume down just a little bit. So there's one difficulty level below normal, which is casual. I don't think you'd ever need to run anything on casual unless you want to run something that's a higher level. And you can see normal is pretty easy. We're not really struggling too much here at all on normal difficulty and even hard. We don't really struggle too much. Elite will be a little more of a challenge, but by the time we run it, we're going to be, you know, above the level. It'll be pretty easy for us at that In time. The middle of this but right now, if we ran an Elite, it would be a little bit tougher for us because we don't really have any gear it, or a powerful items. When the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. A magical right. barrier blocks the way, and behind it, another saw you fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venom. The last devourer altar shatters. Your bold action saved Korthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. So I'm going to finish out. There's nothing left to do here. Uh, pretty straightforward quest. You can see these quests on normal are not uh, super hard. This build handles it uh, just fine. That's true even on hard. On elite, it's a little more of a challenge um, at first level, but still doable. Um, all right, so we're going to let's grab our end reward from this quest. So uh, I'm just going to take this amulet of inner focus. Uh, this one gives us a con of one, but gives us a couple of minuses. I'm not a big fan of minuses, so I'm just going to take this one. Some of the braver villagers tried to stem the Sahuagin tide, but their courage led to naught but grievous injuries. Korthos needs someone with more than just guts. And one thing you'll notice is I'm zipping around in the public area pretty fast. That's from one of the ship buffs. It gives you a, I believe, a 40% speed boosts in public areas uh, i don't get the speed boost in private areas uh, or in like quests basically all right next we're going to run storehouse secrets on normal which we is the only difficulty we can run it on until we unlock it dust and more let's bring back the hireling storehouse you can hear the telltale skittering <laughs> these have an hour timer so we have 53 minutes left on this hireling yeah, breaking boxes is another thing that you don't really need to worry about, but you'll get more XP. But again, we are going to have so much XP, the last thing we have to worry about is having enough XP to level up. We're going to have the opposite problem where we might actually, since we're trying to get favor and, and trying to uh, uh, run, this so we have to run the quest all three times. Story. We'll find ourselves probably having too much experience. Preparing. Now, you could bypass normal by running uh, Elite with a group where somebody else could open on Elite. Uh, that's a perfectly good approach, but I wanted to show... Key falls I want to show, show how to solo in this series, so 
That's why I'm running uh, normal hard. Salhagen emerges from a hidden passage, demanding the key. You now this is funny. It says it's a red name boss, but you can see he's actually orange. Uh, I, they may have changed him at some point. I'm not sure. Just a little uh, text uh, bug there. Now we could open this uh, door with the key. The door and this is a common thing. That the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. These floor puzzles are very common in DDO. Uh, if you don't like puzzles, uh, these puzzles are not particularly hard. But if you don't like puzzles, you can go to ddowiki.com, and it will just have the answers for you there, and you just uh, make it match what's on the picture. Uh, certainly nothing wrong with that. Um, I've done that for a lot of puzzles. There's also, for some of the puzzles, not this one, but some of the more complex puzzles, they have solvers available. So, but again, the, the site is ddowiki.com. All right, we're still at three dots. That didn't get us very much experience, 450. Uh, running on normal gives you lower experience. But again, that's fine because uh, it's a great way to learn the quest. And I really strongly recommend um, you know, you could find a group and just ride on people's coattails, but it's really hard to learn the quest that way because, um, uh, you know, people are going faster and finishing for you. Um, I think the best way to learn it is doing exactly this, solo it on a lower difficulty, then look for a group on a higher difficulty and uh, run it. So if you run it on, once you run it on normal, you can then look for a group and rerun everything on elite with skipping hard. Uh, in this series, we're not going to do that. We're going to run normal hard elite just so that you can see what it's like to uh, solo and level up all right we're gonna run uh, the Kenneth crystal on normal this is arguably the hardest level one uh, quest in the game and the reason that is is because it's a protect mission so you not only have to stay alive and defeat your enemies, but you have to make sure that this crystal does not get destroyed. It's not too bad on normal, you but you can still fail it on normal. Because if they, the if they do enough damage to this crystal and you can't see but where it stands, the, who would doom the quest Kothos fails. By destroying but if that happens, that's fine. You could try again. Um, but unfortunately, you can't skip it. You have to complete this quest to run the next one. Uh, there's some flagging involved in these Corthos quests, but you can see you're one hit most of these most of these enemies, so um, they probably won't do enough damage to, to destroy the crystal on normal. As you go up difficulties, they basically increase the um, defenses of the enemy hit points. Etc. Uh, and increase their offense to do more damage. If you put the hireling on, on if you press that red button, do their best. As soon as the enemies, it's kind of nice to put them here on do their best because then the enemies, as soon as they come out, you can see that they immediately attack. So it's, it gives you kind of an early warning sign by pressing this button here on the hireling uh, when the enemies are active here. And we have spots so we can actually kind of see them. They look sort of a little bit translucent there, or a little bit, you know, like you can see shadowy. And that's because we have a good spot there. They're, Invisible or stealth, and we have a good spot skill, so we can see them despite that. If you don't have a good spot skill, you won't be able to, you won't see them at all until they're out of that mode. All right, just one left. That's pretty easy on normal.
thus protecting the Kanith crystal right, so and not, saving Korthos. Not enough to get us to level two, but uh, got, it, we received that fourth action point, so now we could take the quarterstaff bonus. I'm going to go ahead and take the spear bane. This gives you a four DR from, um, it's a little confusing. It says everything you take, it's reduced by four, except bludgeoning and slashing. There's only three types in the game, in the game. There is slashing, bludgeoning, and pierce. So spear bane gives you protection from piercing. Ax bane gives you protection from slashing. But I'm going to go ahead and take this because there's a lot of Hero, piercing damage. It is on Orthos. the people's lips as you walk by. Cautious My... looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. All right, so we're going to head to the tavern because our presence is requested. But uh, this will give us four off of off of uh, piercing damage, which are arrows, spears, those type of things. So there's quite a bit of it in Corthos. All right, this is our next quest. Uh, this quest is not available until you run the other three. It's called flagging in this game. So there's... You run those other three, and then this quest becomes available. All right, again, we'll run this on normal. We're going to run through all of the level one quests on normal before we move on to hard. And I'll bring the hireling in. Your waiting bears fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. So our hits are doing two more damage than they were before with that last enhancement we took. And you can see the damage is pretty pretty decent. One to two hits for each of these guys. A normal goes down pretty quick. It's a lot more on on it's more on hard and a lot more on elite to take them down. By the time we get there we'll be a little more powerful as well. Your stalwart defense gives the Sahagan pause. But you hear more There's of them gathering outside here. for a final assault. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand. He must have fled into the cellar. Drexel hand isn't here. However, webbed footprints on the ground betray the location of a secret passage. Backtracking them may reveal the chamber beyond the secret passage looks ancient, predating Korthos village. In addition to searching there, you could click on this. That also opens it, but it's always good to search for secret doors even if you don't use them because it will give you a bonus. Hmm, that hat looks like it might actually be interesting. Intimidate plus two, which I don't need, and spot plus three, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, put that hat on for now since I don't have anything better. Next life we'll be able to open on hard. As you can see, we could probably, you know, this is pretty easy. We're sure we can handle hard, no problem. And that 
as level one. You can see they did a little bit of damage to me. Not normal, but not much. Uh, wisdom, cold absorption. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, this is a rare item here. This is a uh, what's called the spell point potion. Restore spell points. Really important for spell casters. We'll probably stick that one in the bank or auction it. Let me recall out. And we have enough experience for level two, as you can, or level, yeah, level two, as you can see, this little symbol here indicates we're ready to level up. So we'll go ahead and get our item. Um, again, much like before, there's no quarter staff in this, from an end ward in this quest. There's another great axe. We already have a great axe. This one doesn't really look any better. Um, so I'm just going to take, uh, I guess, this great axe and then sell it. Your victories have made the village much safer but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin, out in the wilds of Corthos Island. that cloak on. I'm gonna lock this so I don't accidentally sell it. And then I'm gonna take level two. The road trainers by that first quest we ran. And I'm going to take level 2 rogue, and then the rest will all be paladin levels. I'm going to put skills to the same things I had them to before. Except... Concentration, because it's a class skill, cross skill class, and it would end up with 2.5. And, a half, and uh, we don't want to go into the next level with odd uh, things. So we have 2 skill points left, so I'm going to put 2 to heal. Um, so that it's even and uh, that way these won't be stuck on an odd number when we go to Paladin and Paladin has both concentration and heal as class skills. Alright, we have no enhancement points. Uh, it would be nice we could actually ha increase our attack speed here with the quarter staff so we'll probably do that next. That's it for level one. So uh, prepping for level two, we're just going to talk to three quest givers here in Corthos. This mayor who give us a quest. Who give us a quest? Kind of by the dock. And she will give us a quest. And these next quests are going to be in the Corthos Wilderness. So that's it for level one.